taken the get out the vote coordinator role. So let me bring up your presentation. Hello, everyone. In Okay, um, for those of you who know, um, I generally, when I'm talking about GOTV, which for those of you who don't know, means get out the vote. Generally speaking, I think of GOTV as a two-step process. Number one, we want to identify all the eligible voters. So as expats we want, or dual citizens, we want to identify everyone who is an American who is eligible to vote. And then the second step process is making sure that everyone we have identified actually casts their, their ballots. And how we, how we identify voters, for expats, I generally think that um, it's a two-bimodal uh, system. There are, there are Americans that are in Germany or overseas that have been here many years. They, their, spouse is married, their spouse is German, so they've been here many, many years. Or a lot of times, there are expats that come to the United or come to Germany. Their company sends them here, and they're here for a two or three year stint, and so they haven't registered to vote because they, they recently moved since the last election. So what we want to do is identify those those people, and. Generally what we do in election cycles is we do the GOTV identification process. Usually it starts in the, around January, February, March. Um, and then we do that through a various ways. Um, this year what we're gonna do, I, what I would like to do is we will have um, each chapter will um, <laughs> attend a festival, um, Usually, what we're going to try, what we will aim for, is between the months of March and September. And what our goal is is to have each chapter attend a festival that they have never attended before. So we we've done Christopher Street events for many years. We want to get out visibility for places we have never been. So whether it's a festival we've never attended, a city that we've never attended, a village, our goal is to have representatives from Democrats abroad Germany out on the ground uh, showing vis visibility, saying that we're here, and we want to make sure that if new Americans are here or Americans that are here that have not registered to vote, do so. Okay, tabling events. Uh, this is something that has been done many times, and we are just, uh, this is going to be in addition to the festivals. We are encouraging every chapter to participate in tabling events. For example, uh, when President Obama was in Cologne last year, we set up a table and we had a, a big banner that we used that said, that said vote from abroad and outside of the train station. And so we were attracting new people and even um, oftentimes you're you're not going to get a lot of America if you don't get a lot of Americans you're going to get Germans who know Americans and, and that often happens is just they'll say oh, I'm not Amer I'm German so I can't I can't help but I, I but my boyfriend's sister is, is an American that's one of the reasons that, you, that you're out there you have the cards you give the, you give that to them and you let them know that you're out there and the purpose of the tabling events is to hold one visibility. The other is obviously uh, we do voter registration right there on the spot for people if they need assistance. And the next thing is movie theaters. Like we mentioned earlier, uh, when I will be working with different chapter chairs to ensure that the ads are placed in appropriate movie theaters where English is spoken, um, where we think that there are going to be a lot of Americans just reminding people to register to vote. The next issue is GOTV chapter liaisons. I, the GOTV position is a national position and I am only one person, so I can only be one place at a time. So what we've asked the different chapters to do is to each have a coordinator so that they can work with, we have one in Berlin, so we have one in Munich, one in Stuttgart 
that way, um, this person is a, is a liaison that is different from the chapter chair, and this kind of takes off the pressure for the chapter chair so that they can concentrate on other events, but also assisting me so that I can do things where I need to help um, the different chapters. If Stuttgart, for example, needs, they're having problems with, with um, getting literature out. If they're out of cards, they can, they're, the GOTV liaison in Stuttgart can contact me and I can get that, that type of information to them. Or if there are problems with phone lists or something, I can talk to the, the phone bank coordinator. So that's really the, the purpose of, of the, um, the chapter liaisons. And one of the things that we, um, that we would like to begin implementing within the next couple of weeks is to have monthly phone calls with all the GOTV coordinators across the country and just do a problem solving, what's working, what's not, what, what kind of supplies we need, what supplies we don't, what's working, what's not working. All right, the next is DA in your neighborhood. And like we have mentioned many times over the course of the day, uh, we ask that people have the vote from abroad cards and distribute them well, uh, freely wherever you go, whether you're the restaurants you, you frequent, the clubs you belong to, the cafes you go to. So what we would like to do is to distribute, the, have people distribute those and I will be the one, um, I will be responsible for working with people to make sure that all the information is given to, to the different parts of the country um, to ensure that information is disseminated. The last thing is office hours um, and training. I will, be, uh, I will commit to holding office hours once a week uh, to assist with questions and concerns from members beginning in February. And then I will conduct any training necessary either via Skype or in person uh, trainings to various chapters. Now, what we, um, just to wrap up briefly, um, this, what we're doing right now in, this, in the identification process, when we're identifying voters, I mentioned the process of um, visibility with things like tabling and festivals. Another thing Katie will talk about more thoroughly uh, is phone banking. Phone banking is another way we identify voters. And then uh, Renee will talk about this more thoroughly later um, with the study abroad program. So what we'll do is we'll coordinate with those, the three of us will coordinate to, to ensure that we identify voters. And then once we've done that through the spring, then when uh, usually September, October rolls around, then we all the, the people that we have identified, that is when we will start phone banking, we will start um, mailing postcards, that type of thing. That is when we will make sure that every person that we have identified actually cast their ballot because it doesn't do any good. It, a lot of times we find that we can identify voters, but they don't always, uh, there's no follow through. So we want to make sure it doesn't do us any good if we identify a voter, if at the end of the day they don't vote. So what, what we will start working on more closely towards the end of the summer, beginning of the fall, is making sure that the people vote. And if that means we provide stamps for them or we, we mail the ballot for them to make sure things get done. Oh, we, okay. But we show them where, where, the, where the mailbox is. But I, I, I forget that it's a little touchy. But yes, but we will do everything that we can. We will call and harass them to make sure that they voted. And, and oftentimes, and this is what I tell people when I, when I, um, when I do GOTV, when people, if voters get really angry and they get annoyed because you're calling and annoying them, and they say, you know, this is the third time you call, just, I always tell them, vote. As soon as you vote, we don't care. We, well, if, if you want us to leave you alone, vote. So, you know, because, I mean, once they vote, it doesn't matter how they voted. It, it, all we care is that they, that they voted, and so we want them to, that, that's one of the event, that's one of the ways to get people to vote is when you call when you when you're phone banking or when you see someone on the street just say you will never hear us if you want the phone calls to stop turn in your your ballot and that works surprisingly well. Okay. All right. Thank you, Claudia.